Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning from Uncle Lou. Thanks for watching. Uh, another can't miss, mind bending, head scratching uh, edition uh, here of the Uncle Lou Show. Live on YouTube for you. Uh, yep, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, before I start yelling and screaming and getting into this rant here uh, yep, about Alabama fans uh, and Jim McElwain, uh, a couple of Quick announcements, uh, just completely pointless and useless announcements. Uh, the call-in show will be today at 3 o'clock. Uh, every Monday, every Thursday, 3 o'clock. So yes, the call-in show is on for today at 3. <coughs> uh, I'll do it for an hour at least, uh, or until people quit calling. Now, the first few shows, however many we've done, two or three now, I guess, three we've done, I, I don't know, uh, have gone pretty good. If you haven't been able to get through... Try again today. The number, I'll put it in the description. Uh, I, I might even put it up right here, right now, uh, if I remember. 706-510-6817. Uh, yep, call. Uh, tell me how you feel. Uh, you know the routine. You've seen the videos by now, uh, or you've watched, or, you, or you've called in already, whatever. Anyway, uh, so far, the shows have gone really good. Um, as soon as I hang up, the phone is already ringing again. So that's what I'm looking for. I, I don't, I don't need to go live just so I can talk for an hour. It's, we got to have the phone call. So thanks to everybody that's called in. If you haven't been able to get through, I'm sorry. Try today, three o'clock Eastern, uh, and hopefully we can get through. I'll continue doing this two days a week, uh, until the phone calls stop coming. Uh, if they don't stop coming, I'll keep doing it two days a week. So that's how that's going to work. Uh, yep. So today at 3, 706-510-6817. Call Uncle Lou. Tell me how you feel. Uh, if you're mad, that's great. If you're not mad, that's great too. Uh, whatever you want to talk about. You want to talk about the Falcons, we'll talk about that. Uh, Georgia, recruit, whatever. Caller's choice. Dealer's choice. Whatever you want to talk about. I'm an expert, uh, on everything. So whatever you want to talk about is fine with me. Uh, yep. Uh, number two. Uh, yep. Uh, if you want one of these, uh, recruiting shirts, the, uh, Savages Sikkim 17 shirts, a lot of you have probably seen them already. Uh, if you want one of those shirts, they're 10% off. Uh, yep, I'll leave a link down there and you can buy yourself one, uh, if you want to. If you don't buy one, I don't care. Uh, it's completely up to you. Be sure and leave comments down below. If you don't want one of the shirts, be sure and comment down below that it's completely pointless and you don't want one. Don't forget to do that. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's it for the, uh, announcement, so now it's time for me to get angry. <sighs> Not really angry. Angry is the wrong word. Uh, confused, a little confused, um, and a little amused. That rhymes, I'm confused and amused. Listen, okay, J Jim McElwain, what is this whore tooth jackass doing? You suck, you jackass. I, I don't get it. I, I didn't think it was humanly possible to, to be this bad at recruiting uh, in the state of Florida at an SEC school. Well, oh my, 20, you're like 25th. You've been passed by Kentucky. Kentucky in football. You ought to be, a, as head coach of, of Florida, Look, I hate Florida, but let's be real. Uh, it, it's a, it's in a, the hotbed of high school athletics. I mean, the, 
You can throw a rock in Florida and hit three five stars. You ought to be able to roll out of bed and get a top ten class. Is Jim McElwain even trying uh, to recruit? I don't know what the hell. Florida fans, now look, listen. Listen to me. If you're a Florida fan, you can get mad at me if you want. All I'm doing is pointing out the obvious and saying things that you know you've been telling yourself. How is it possible that, that you're barely cracking the top 25 in recruiting? That's inexcusable. I mean, I, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, McIlwain won the East. That, he, might be, he might be a good coach. Time will tell. I, I'm not knocking his coaching. But how can you be 25th in recruiting uh, in Florida? I don't, un I don't understand. I mean, Muschamp, I mean, this guy, Muschamp didn't know what the hell he was doing. He was more confused than a two-year-old in a titty bar down there. And he had a top three class. Now, he couldn't coach, and he went four and eight the next year. But like I said, that's not, I'm separating the two. Rec listen, recruiting and coaching are tied together, but, but they're two totally separate things. And to, and to be elite, you've got to be good at both. Florida is literally drowning in, in Division I football players, four and five stars. And this guy at the University of Florida, this horse, I mean, like, want to come play for Florida? This horse tooth jackass is sitting at number 25 behind Kentucky. All right, now, Alabama fans, I know y'all happy today. Y'all got to be happy. The Falcons are in the Super Bowl. All you gumps are, are, are Atlanta Falcon fans now. You, you guys rotate. You, you were Dallas Cowboy fans all through the 90s. Some of you kind of hung on after that, but very few. Uh, you floated to the Saints for a couple of years. Hell, you even floated to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for a year or two. But now, the gumps are Atlanta Falcon fans. Woo! And they're excited too. You know why? You want, listen to me. I'm going to tell you a secret. Gump fans are so excited, and they, ooh, they want Atlanta Falcon to win the Super Bowl. Because if Atlanta wins the Super Bowl, the Gumps can claim another natty, go home, get drunk, and beat their wife slash sister. You suck, you jackass.